Hey guys, Mitch here. Today we're going over Spiro. It is a jailbreak tweak for your iPad that allows you to get the best compatible system management for your iPad. Now with it, it comes with tons of features including activator listeners. We also have system toggles including like Wi-Fi, 3G, uh, power off, along with some other additional features. Now invoking it using an activator, you will see it does come with a nice user interface. The background is blurred a little bit. And at the top here, we do have our activator listeners. These can be options such as respring your device or playing your music, along with actual applications, user or stock applications. You can customize up these to about 18, I do believe, right in the Spiro settings. And you can easily slide left or right to reveal all of them. Now down below that, here we do have the system toggles, which do include your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth. We also have our brightness, which do come with predefined sliders. You can easily turn up or down the brightness, along with the volume, which you can easily use the sliders to adjust those. In addition to that, we also have the tweet, which you can easily go ahead and send out a tweet. The Twitter sheet will appear. We have respring our device here. In addition to that, we also have a Google search, which will perform a search on Google. You can easily go ahead and type out what you want to search and you can easily search right within Google there. In addition to that we also have the launch applications which you'll be able to launch any app from the predefined list here, user or stock here. We also have new mail, new SMS. There's just tons of features that you guys can browse through right within Spiro. Now down below that, here we do have some system information for our iPad here. It does give us our iOS version, our IP address, and our battery level. And at the bottom, this is almost like a switcher here. It will choose up to four applications that you have recently gone on. So in this case, I have been on settings, Safari, FaceTime, and Messages, and they will be displayed there at the bottom. Now opening up Spiro settings, you can go ahead and choose your activation method from the list above. Then we do have our activator events. This is the top events at the top here. You'll be able to choose any of these customizations right from here from the list here. You will have to go in order from 1 to about 20 in this case. And if you go ahead and select it, you'll be able to use the activator events here. And you can go ahead and choose one of these tons and tons of options here. In addition to that, we also have the plugins, which you can easily go ahead and install plugins right from Cydia if you would wish. If you do want to double tap to dismiss Spiro, you can easily go ahead and turn that on. Doing that will allow you to easily double tap on your iPad and it will disappear. Now if you do want to darken the background, you can easily slide that up or down. So if we go ahead and make it that, the darkness will be a little bit lighter. And if I go ahead and actually move that slider all the way to the top, you can see that the background is very dark. Now you can also customize the background's blur, so if I go ahead and actually increase that using the slider, you can see that the background is blurred a lot, and if I go ahead and decrease, the background will not be as blurry as before. So guys, this is Spiro, and it is the best system management for your iPad. If interested, you can head over to Cydia's Big Boss Repo and pick up Spiro for 99 cents. If you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up. Leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.